Hi everyone, I'm Peter Producer and I'm the Brains Behind Healthy Howard exclusive news program, Inside the News. And I'm kind of a big deal around here. Thank you for joining us for Life Ed's online module, The Inside Story. Right now, we're on set in the newsroom. Buckle up as we're in for quite the adventure. Oh, and that's my cue to go. Let's get started. I look forward to seeing you again very soon. Hello, I'm Helena Healthseeker, and welcome back to Inside the News, where today we literally have our fingers on the pulse. We're investigating the inside story. <laughs> Let's cross over to Harold's kid reporter, Max Questions, live on site for this breaking story. Thank you, Helena. Today, I am doing an in-depth, exclusive report from my own body. We are about to start a journey of discovery where we will study the ins and the outs of what's happening in here. Now, things could get a little bit gross. I'm hoping to bring you all along for the ride. With the help of Harold's amazing kid scientists, we are going to place Harold in this specially designed capsule and then shrink them both. Once this is done, I'll swallow the capsule and Harold will report from inside my body. But, wait, where is that giraffe? Harold? Harold? Welcome back. We've heard now the Harold is ready. Now, back to the lab. Okay, Harold, just like we practiced. Are we ready? Mask. Check. Pose. Check. Here we go. Awesome. It worked. You sure you're okay with us, Harold? That was a yes. All right, let's do this. Woohoo! That was a bit of a wild ride. So, I must be in your stomach. It's filled with some kind of liquid. <laughs> Sorry. Whoa! What was that? What did you last eat, Max? Oh, I had an apple. Why? Can you see it? I sure can. Good choice, Max. You'll get plenty of energy from a piece of fruit while we're on this adventure. I wonder how you'd be feeling if you'd chosen something not as healthy as an apple today. Great question, Harold. I'm sure we'll find out more today. Whoa. Harold handed that like a pro. And I was thinking the same thing as Harold then. I wonder how Max would have been feeling if he'd eaten something other than an apple. Let's head to Harold's headquarters and check in with another kid scientist for the inside story on food. Hi, I'm Gemma. I'm one of Harold's kid scientists, a go-kart racer, and I love food. Let's talk about food. Why do we eat? Does it matter what we eat? And why do people go on so much about healthy foods? Food is the fuel for our bodies. Just like the high quality fuel that goes in my go-kart. It powers the cart and keeps the motor running smoothly. So we only ever use the best fuel. The fuel, huh? I mean food, we choose is important for our health. This is the Australian Guide to Healthy Eating. Okay, so right now it's looking pretty empty, but not for long. 
Let's start here with the blue section. These foods contain protein. They help our bodies grow and repair. This purple segment is for dairy. Great sources of calcium, an important mineral that keeps our bones and teeth strong. And hey, if a person doesn't eat dairy foods, that's okay. They can get calcium from alternative foods that are dairy free. Over here are grains. They fuel our bodies with long lasting energy to keep us going and going and going and going. And finally, the two green sections, delicious fruits and awesome veggies and beans, sources of vitamins and minerals to keep our immune systems fighting fit. See how the sections are all different sizes? This shows us the foods our bodies need more or less of to keep our engines running beautifully. But hang on, some foods are not on the plate. Use small amounts of these foods. They contain lipids, which are healthy fats. And these foods over here are the sometimes foods. These highly processed foods are often high in sugar, salt, and saturated fats. They might give us a quick burst of energy, but they don't help us grow in the healthiest way. So eating these foods will give us all the nutrients and energy we need. And of course, I choose water to keep my engine racing at top speed. It's the most important drink for our bodies and keeps every single cell working to its absolute best. I'm off to eat a healthy lunch to make sure I'm fully fueled before my race. And my go-kart has lots of fuel too. We are good to go. Now it's over to you to be your own kid's scientist and think about the foods that are going to best fuel you. It looks like food affects our bodies in lots of ways. Food can change the way we think, feel, and can even affect our mood. Let's find out more. Hello everybody, and I'm Ace, one of Healthy Howard's Kids Reporters. And today I'm here with school principal, Mr. Barton. <laughs> So today I want to ask you all about food. Do you think foods can affect kids' moods? Absolutely, Ace. I see kids in the classroom all the time. I know when they've had a healthy meal or when they've had a meal which is not so healthy. Can food affect kids' concentration? Food plays a big role in how well you can concentrate in the class. I can tell kids that haven't had a great breakfast because they find it really hard to concentrate, really hard to focus and they can't do all the things they want to do, and they feel very tired. So food, including water, is very, very important to make sure that your concentration is A1. What do you think a good breakfast for kids before they go to school is? Well, the most important thing is that you have breakfast. So even when we're rushed, we've got to find the time to eat something in the morning that's good for us. So if we've got time, things like an egg on toast is fantastic. But if you're in a bit of a rush like most people, cereal, yogurt, a piece of fruit, something you can get nice and quick and eat will give you that very important energy to make it through the day. What about foods that we can make for ourselves at home, Mr. Barton? Probably the best food you can make, Ace, is fruit salad. I love just getting all the fruits I can find at home, chopping them up, putting them in a bowl. It looks like one big rainbow. It is a work of art. Thank you, Mr. Barton. Well, I'm no scientist, but I had no idea food affected us in so many ways. I think it's time for us to find out more. Let me introduce you to my good friend and our entertainment reporter in the field, Freddie Fabulous. Hello people, I'm Freddie Fabulous and I'm your host for Meet the Nutrients. <laughs> we have some very special A-list guests here today. Now, without further ado, let's Meet the Nutrients! Charlie 
carbohydrate. We find top-notch carbohydrates in food like multigrain and brown bread, pasta, whole grain cereals, brown rice, fruits and vegetables. These foods charge our body's batteries. They're the energy source that fuels us through our days. Thanks for joining us. And now, who do we have here? Oh yes, how could I forget? Pravan protein. Proteins are found in foods like fish, lean meats, eggs, tofu, legumes, and beans. Protein is essential for all our cells. It builds and repairs our muscles. Nice work, Protein. Keep it up. Thanks for coming along today. Next up are these helpful pair. Vitty Vitamin and Mini Mineral. They are super important. They boost our immune system to protect us from sickness and disease. Ew. And they help all our cells and organs to do their jobs. Eating fruits and vegetables that are all the colours of the rainbow gives us a wide range of vitamins and minerals to keep us fighting fit. And here's Frankie Fibre. <laughs> hey, matey. And thanks for keeping things moving in the <clears throat> poo factory. A very important role. We find you in lots of whole grain foods, fruits and vegetables. Okay, Fiverr, you better keep moving. Oh, who do we have here? Kai Calcium. Kai Calcium is a very special mineral. Hi, Kai. Calcium is found in dairy foods like milk, yogurt and cheese. And also in nuts, tinned salmon, tofu, sardines and beans. Calcium does lots of important jobs in our bodies like keeping our bones and teeth strong. Great job, Calcium! And here's Lena Lipid. Lipids give our body healthy essential fats. In foods like delicious avocados, eggs and even oily fish. Lipids keep our bodies warm, help us store energy for growth, keep our hair and skin healthy, and even help us to unlock some of those important vitamins. Whoa, what a team. And give it up for the nutrients. <laughs> Welcome back. It's now time for our quick quiz. Get your thinking caps on. I'll be back in a minute with question one. Okay, people, we're about to begin. Are you ready? After each question, the timer will start ticking. And you have till the buzzer buzzes to come up with your answer. Question one. We know foods that are rich in carbohydrates are a great source of energy. What sort of foods could we find this nutrient in? Question two. When people talk about us eating a rainbow, they're talking about us eating a wide range of colorful fruits and veggies. These foods contain two important nutrients that protect us from sickness and disease. Who can name these two nutrients?
calcium is very important for our bones and our teeth. Can anyone name two different foods we find calcium in? Question four, nearly there. Protein is an essential building block for all the cells in our body. There are meat and plant-based proteins. Healthy proteins help us build and repair what body parts? And now, our final bonus question. This one, we haven't even had a clue for. So you will need to be super focused. Are you ready, people? Question number five. We need this liquid for digestion. It helps us absorb all the nutrients we met today. It helps us poop. And it also helps us we. It's essential for every single cell in our bodies. It just happens to be the most important drink in our bodies. Hmm, what might it be? I'm Freddie Fabulous, and this has been Fabulous. You've all been great, and I'm out. See you, everyone. Let's check in with Harold and see how he's travelling. How are you going in there, Harold? I think I'm leaving the stomach. It seems I'm in the guts. Feels like I'm in for a bit of a bumpy ride. Okay, Harold, I think you're in my small intestine. And if I'm right, you definitely don't want to see or smell what's coming next in the large intestine. Now, if that's where the lumpy leftovers of food go to um, leave the body, you know, poo. All right, Harold, you need to evacuate. Not from my body, just Get out of there! Harold, this is important. You need to follow my instructions closely. Do you copy? We're gonna have to miniaturize you even more. So those bumpy bits there, the villi, can drag you out and into my bloodstream. Kid scientists, extra miniaturization required. Go. Remote shrinking activated. Whoa, there's a lot of blood inside the body. <clears throat> Thanks for joining us for part one.